Hello everyone! Today I'd like to start the video by showing you the inspiration for my project. This is just a fabric pen holder that I have and I simply love that ethnic pattern that it has and I also like the colors. Since I don't have any dye stamp or embossing folder that would have that um, ethnic background, I decided to create one myself using uh, some supplies that I already have. So I'm going to share with you how I created that textured background with poppy stamps dies. I've used my paper trimmer and uh, a scoring board to create a card base out of cream cardstock that is 5 by 7 inches. I've also trimmed that panel out of blue paper that is quarter of an inch smaller and another cream panel that is yet another quarter of an inch smaller than the previous one. This is going to create a one eighth of an inch border all around the card. So now I'm applying some tape adhesive and sticking down the blue panel right onto the card base. As always, you can find the list of supplies that I'm using down below in the description box as well as on my blog. Now I'm gonna start working on that uh, cream panel. This die is called Big Circle Border and I'm going to place it at the edge of my panel because it has the cutting edge and it would um, cut through otherwise. I'm tipping it down to secure it into place and then I'm going to send it through the die cutting machine. This die creates that uh, pretty negative pattern. Then I'm going to flip over the panel and repeat the same process on the other edge. I have actually decided to start with creating uh, different kinds of borders and stripes since uh, that was the pattern on my pen holder. By the way, you can use whatever dies you have. It can even be strips of patterned paper or stamps. Now I'm going to die cut another border pattern. I'm actually making a mark on the die itself as well as on the panel just to center it really well. Then again I'm using washi tape to secure it in the center and then I'm sending it through the machine. This die also cuts out a negative pattern. It's called um, Waverly border. Then I'm going to use my roller brush, that one is by Spellbinders, to clear out all those uh, numerous tiny pieces. This double stitch frame is also by Poppy Stamps. I've uh, die cut it out of white cardstock and now I'm basically going to trim it into strips because I will only need the strips. I decided to use those strips to create narrow borders on my pattern. Those are also going to have a little bit of dimension. Now I'm gonna stick all the strips down onto a piece of blue paper. It's the same kind of paper that I used for the panel. I decided to go nearly monochromatic, so blue Cream and white are the only colors that I'm using. Now I'm using a craft knife to trim off the excess blue paper and I'm leaving just a hair thin border at the both sides of that uh, stitched strip. This is the super simple way to add some dimension and color to that border. Now I'm applying some uh, double-sided tape and I'm basically sticking down those strips right next to the die-cut borders and this way I'm kind of framing them. By the way, you can also go ahead and try to use uh, the ribbon instead of that uh, double-stitched strips. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and uh, trim off whatever hangs off the edge. By the way, when I started making this project, I had no idea what the finished project would look like. I just kept doing what seemed to be right. 
then I'm going to stick down that panel onto my card. So I'm applying some double sided tape and I'm also going to use some uh, liquid glue for the most um, intricate areas, especially in the corners. Then I'm attaching the panel onto the card and at this point it already starts looking a bit ethnic. To fill in the two empty borders I have decided to use small dies that I have. So I chose this uh, mini die set that is called Whittle Ducks and I'm going to use only the large image from the set. I'm using a liquid adhesive, this is Ranger Multimedia Matte, to simply stick down uh, all five ducks in a row. To make sure they are centered, I'm first uh, stick down um, the ones at the edges, then the center one, and then the two in between them. This way I won't really have to measure anything. Now the only thing my card is missing is a focal image. So I have decided to create a frame using the same colors of cardstock. And I'm also using those set of circle dies as well as a double stitched frame. So I am assembling that uh, circle the same uh, way I assembled the card. I'm sticking down the blue piece on top of the white one and then the cream frame on top. That uh, last little die is a Whittle Elephant. I've die cut it three times out of white cardstock just to make it more dimensional. So now I'm uh, layering all three elephants to make them look like it's a chipboard piece. I have also layered a little ear image and now I'm sticking it down onto the elephant. Then I'm going to add the elephant inside the circle. The original pattern had elephants in it and I thought of creating a border of elephants, but I ended up using just one. And finally I'm using a hot glue to attach this circle with the elephant right in the center of my card. I hope I have inspired you to use whatever supplies you have to create uh, some uh, new and original projects there is really no need to purchase new supplies for every single project that you are creating. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for visiting today and uh, I really hope to see you all again next time. Bye-bye!